Uh, our current superintendent has been a part of the department in Raleigh since 1976, and we think it's time for a change. Uh, I bring a different perspective as a parent. I know it is like to have kids in our public schools today. Uh, as a local leader who understands how local schools are run, I know what it's like when you have the state government's education department creating extra layers of bureaucracy that make it harder for you to support your teachers and create programs for your students. So I think both those perspectives will allow me to go in there with a fresh look as a, a younger generation and prepare our schools for the 21st century. Uh, I think we need to look at the model we have a little differently. I think we need to empower our local districts more, get more of the money we invest in education out of Raleigh and into our local classrooms across North Carolina. And we also have to empower parents to get more involved in schools. And uh, we have a large layer of bureaucracy in education. We have to get the bureaucrats out of our classrooms so our teachers can spend more time teaching and empower our teachers as well. So I want to help to reduce that bureaucracy, get some of those millions of dollars pumped back out to our classrooms where I think it would be more effective uh, in programs for students, in resources for teachers, in uh, additional dollars for our teachers who deserve those uh, resources. So one of the things we hear all the time is that uh, teachers are just feeling that burden of bureaucracy, right? Uh, they spend more and more time every day, every day filling out forms and paperwork and jumping through hoops from Raleigh and Washington and less time teaching their kids and being excited. Uh, additionally, there's a growing culture that pushes for a teach to the test environment. And it doesn't allow our teachers to instill the creativity and flexibility the flexibility that they know uh, is a way to engage students and particularly get their kids excited. So I think if we, we better the classroom environment, it will make it more attractive. I think additionally, we have to have better support mechanisms to help uh, with our younger teachers. There's more and more kids graduating every year who are struggling reading or need remediation courses. Uh, many of our kids who go into our college systems or community college systems have to take remedial classes that they don't get credit for and that we have to pay for twice. Uh, so I think we have to make sure kids who graduate are actually graduating prepared, college ready. Additionally, I think we need to sort of get out of the one-size-fits-all education model. We know not every child is necessarily going to go to college. Some children would do very well in a vocational career path, and having more vocational programs or early college programs I think would be a big help. As a Republican nominee, I'm, I'm supporting Mitt Romney for a variety of issues. I do think uh, many of the items on his educational plan will be very beneficial for us and help us move forward and innovate in a new direction. But that is one area that I think um, President Obama has done a few uh, good items with. So um, I've given some credit to the Race to the Top initiatives that has been rolled out over the last couple of years. And not in their entirety, entirety. there are some problems with it. But uh, one of the things Race for the Top did, it pushed more competitive-based funding as opposed to formula-based funding. So don't just give everybody the fixed amount of dollars to keep doing business as usual. You have to compete to innovate. And it also forced states to have to look towards uh, changes in... Um, their policies and their structure. I, I am concerned with pieces of the Obama administration's education plan, but I think there are some positives there. So that's one area um, I personally would give uh, the president's administration uh, a bit of some credit there. So. I, I would love to see our young people more educated on these races and get them more informed about it because they do impact our, our state. So I know we're all excited about what's going to impact our country. But we live in North Carolina, and a lot of the decisions that impact us every day happen more at a local level.